All right, guys, here we go. Let's see what we got. Haven't been here in a minute, man. Let's find out. Oh, my God in heaven, man. I can't believe it. What's good everybody today we are going on another wwe action figure toy hunt been a minute since i've hit my normal stores and i think we're gonna go a little bit unconventional today i'm feeling hitting up some different stores that we haven't hit in a while i haven't been to my one walmart that everybody steals from so we're definitely going to check that out we're going to go to possibly a best buy location the one that i found the roman reigns at i think we're going to do that and then we're going to hit the traditional target that's been bummerific for a few months now man haven't found a john brown thing at target for some reason i don't know what the hell is going on over there, but we are going to hit those stores up. We're going to see what's going on with it, but hopefully maybe we'll find some Monday Night Wars Elites. That's really what we're looking for. Series 2. I've even seen people hit Series 3. I haven't even seen a damn football set of Series 2, so we'll have to see if we can actually find those, but nonetheless, man, join me in the car as we go on our adventure, see if we can find some good stuff on the toy hunt, but we won't know until we hit the store. The first location is going to be Walmart, though, so join me as we adventure out. All right, guys, here we go. Let's see what we got. I haven't been here in a minute, man. Let's find out. Oh my God in heaven, man. I can't believe it. Elite 109 Seth Rollins in the flesh, man. I mean, the card is beat to hell, but I don't really care about that. That's amazing. I have so many of this figure, but I don't have so many of the championship. Whew, didn't expect to see Elite 109, man. This is crazy. Elite 109 Dominic, got him in here. So we got Seth, Dominic, Shinsuke, Damian Priest, Bailey, and Cody Rhodes. We have Shinsuke, no chase. Nah, no chase, dead gum. Good looking head sculpt on the Shinsuke, but I don't see the chase figure. If this was the chase, it'd be an Insta Cop. Even though I do like this figure, not gonna be grabbing it because it's not the chase, unfortunately. But we do have two Dominics. So we have two different Dominics, or not two different Dominics, but two Dominics. They have the flannel on there from Elite 109. That's awesome. Another Seth Rollins, also beat to hell. It's like somebody just came in and absolutely coup de gras both packagings for the Seth Rollins figure. But they do look good. I mean, you know, it's uh, if you're a men on car collector, that's unfortunate. Maybe that's why he's still sitting here. I know there's a lot of men on car collectors. But, I mean, look at that. Dude. Look at that dent. That is crazy. But Elite 109, did not expect to see Elite 109 here. I was actually, you know, worried because my other other Walmart, I feel like, never has any Elites. But the Toy Hunt is also a great start if you get Elite 109 right off the rip. But if we come down from Elite 109, we do have Ultimate Edition Charlotte Flair, and we have, it looks like a restock on Ultimate Bianca. I still have not reviewed or pulled mine out of the packaging. Just never got around to it. There's actually a couple other figures that I have not reviewed on the channel that I need to. The Ultimate Edition Eric Bischoff, haven't reviewed that, but we have two different Biancas. Why do I keep saying two different? They're not different in any stretch, but they are, you know what I mean? We have two separate ones is what I should say. But here's the same battle pack we got on our last toy hunt, the Austin Theory and John Cena from Wrestling many a 39 pretty good we got the theory championship in there we did pick this up last time though so i'm not going to be grabbing this still haven't unboxed it but i do have that set already two tamina's been dealing with these for a while we do have our white suited basic seth rollins not white suited but white attire i have another one of those we have Shayna baszler another seth rollins another tamina we have Katana Chance, or was it Casey Catanzaro? Is that what it was? We have Bianca, 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 another Shayna. We have some Knuckle Crunchers, John Cena, and two Roman Reigns. Could buy it for the, uh, what's, it, what's it called? The little Katana holder. Could do that. Might be worth a pick up there. I don't know. Six trillion. These are going to be in your dirt cheaps very soon, man. These have not sold well. They're cool, but they're not selling for whatever reason. I still haven't made a video on that either, but these are really cool. They're just, uh, I don't know, people aren't buying them for whatever reason, but there's like 27 of them right here. And then we have a lot of Superstars figures, man. This set has, you know, I found it really early on. I want to say it was like five months ago. And since then, this has been hard to find. But then as soon as they showed up in bulk, they have not moved, man. Andre the Giant, Doink. A Chase Hogan, Bam Bam Bigelow, we have Roddy Piper, we have another Andre, we have the Chase Hulk Hogan in the track suit, we have another Roddy Piper, another Doink, another Roddy Piper, a regular edition Hulk Hogan, two more Doinks, and then we have another Chase Hogan, another Chase Hogan, regular edition, regular edition, regular edition, and regular edition. This Hulk Hogan has shelf formed crazily, which is insane, but we also have a Doink the Clown up here. That is unpunched. That's pretty cool. I don't know, man. Just not... Uh, I do have these already. I'd like to get some loose versions. I don't know if I have the chase either of this. I think it's because I keep seeing it shelf form everywhere that I'm not grabbing it. But we also have four 
might be a legacy packs here, man. I still haven't got mine with the robes. Still haven't reviewed this on the channel. I am behind on reviews. I need to review this. I need to review the Mattel Creations Eric Bischoff. I need to review the Ultimate Bianca. I'm very behind on AEW reviews, like the Ring of Honor figures, but we have a lot of Eddie Kingston's. These have been here a while. We do have the Walmart Bucks, or at least Matt Jackson. We have Eddie Kingston, Eddie Kingston. Uh, Thunder Rosa back there, been here for six years. Two Statlanders, and then up there, it looks like we have a bunch of Eddie Kingston's again. And then down here, I'm not seeing anything else. Oh, there's the stolen Austin from last time. But it looks like that's the full section, man. Not a whole lot going on outside of the Elite 109. Now I'll say, if these were on clearance, I'm grabbing them. If I, if any of these guys were on clearance and the Superstars, I would buy these. I would buy these if these were on clearance. I would probably buy the Bianca or possibly another Charlotte, who knows. Um, but that's the rest of the stuff. I, I'm definitely not getting Shinsuke. I thought about getting Dom and I thought about getting Rollins. I don't think I need both. But I have so many of this gold Seth Rollins, but it would be cool to have another championship. Hmm, decisions. Got to make some decisions here, man. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I got to make some decisions, though. I don't know. What do you guys think? You can let me know down in the comment section below, but we're going to move on to our next location. But this was still a hit. Just finding these at retail and just seeing them in person is really cool. All right, man, location number two is Best Buy. Let's go in here and see if they have a, anything, anything worth a damn. All right, man, so inside Best Buy right now, and the only thing that I could possibly come up with was this Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns, and it's beat to hell, too. Or I guess it's not beat to hell. That's wrong. That's not right to say, but this is the same location that i found those roman reigns last time i remember a lot of people hitting on roman reigns the ultimate edition because they got that wave in and this is all they have it's kind of warped a little bit but we did find another tribal chief i'm not going to be buying it you know i'm not going to be buying that i kind of low-key need this i don't care i don't know if you guys care but low-key need that but we do have ultimate edition roman reigns the rest of everything is kind of just NECA and random stuff going on. They don't really have any other wrestling. So they have Lego, they have Pokemon, they have Jazzwares and different things like this. But they do not have any other WWE. The lone Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns is the only thing they have, man. They have like some random cool stuff. I wish I had like room to collect like everything I'd like to collect. I'd like to have a Sonic collection, you know. I try to just keep it, a, you know, you got to minimalize a little bit. It's the only way to really collect. I try to collect, a, you know, the things that I really truly want. And so I have to keep it limited. But, yeah, they have a few different things going on here. But nothing I need. But we're going to get the hell out. Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns is all that they had, man. Unfortunate. No greatest hits or anything. Another day, another disappointing trip to Target. Or at least that's what we think. I think I came in the wrong way. Oh, see, they, they turned him to bark because I'm a dumbass. Hmm. Oh, let's go in here and see if we can find something worth a shish. I mean, dude, why are we even try over here? Why are we trying? They're on clearance, but not low enough. Ultimates at 23, Elites at 16. Not worth it to me, at least. Captain Lou, great figure. Sultan, solid. Hulk Hogan. I mean, Muhammad Ali, we talked to Shish about him. He ain't even on the pegs. So maybe he's not the show former in the set. Maybe we need to get in the gym and get better or something. Somebody had to make some decisions. Little Timmy, do you want the torpedo divers or do you want the Captain Lou? He said, give me Captain Lou. So. Had to put some stuff back, unfortunately, but yep, nothing here for me. Casey, follow me around everywhere. All right, I'm out. All right, fellas, we're back home after the toy hunt. We did grab one thing, and I went ahead and got Dirty Dom. You know, I had to get Dirty Dom if I can get Dirty Dom out of the Dirty Damn bag. We do have Dirty Dom here, and the reason I picked this up is because you can never have too many Dominics, right? We got a couple of Dominics over here. I think we have one more over here. So we're adding to the Dominic collection, man. We're adding to it. We got another one there. I have yet to. I'm doing that today. I'm acetoning those boots today, Brad. Acetoning those right there today. We also saw that on the toy hunt. But we did grab another one. The reason I grabbed another one is you can never have too many cloth goods. And this flannel can work for so many different things. And my mind's trying to go crazy with different fix-ups we can make. We could add to our action figure surgery. But this is the only figure that we picked up on the toy hunt. Now, honestly, the Walmart's the only place that had anything. Target was really lacking. Best Buy only had Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns. So I figured, why not go ahead, grab the Dirty Dom. But one thing I wanted to talk about with this Dominic Mysterio right here. Well, I tried to find the receipt and I couldn't find it. This figure rang up for $25.70 something cents. For one standard elite, man, I just think that that is low-key egregious. I feel like that's egregious, man, I, and I think I need to do a full video on this. I know that it obviously varies depending on where you're from, depending on where you're living, whatever, but the cost of living in Alabama is definitely lower than the average cost of living, I would guess. I could be wrong about that, but that's just what I would guess. But Dominic Mysterio ringing up at $25 and some change. 
That's pretty bummerific, man. I didn't like that. I remember back in the day when Walmart Elites were, what, like 17 bucks? I remember when they were even lower than that. It was like seventeen ninety seven or something, and they'd ring up for around nineteen eighty or something like that, I think. But we did get Dominic. I'm proud of it. I got this at Dirt Cheap the other day. This is not the price. It's usually 50, 60% off this price. I think I paid like 10 bucks for that. That's a good suited body. You can never have too many suited bodies for parts. So I did grab another Brother Love. And then we also picked up something else. Oh yeah, the Greatest Hits Ray. I did get, not a Greatest Hits Ray, a new Top Picks Ray. I think the blue on this is so incredible. And you guys know that Ray Mysterio is not the only figure in the set. It was Gunther, Ray Mysterio, and was it Roman Reigns or was it Cody Rhodes? I think it was Roman Reigns. It was Roman Reigns, Gunther. Those two figures were just straight up re-releases. This was the only figure that was unique. But I thought the colors were so amazing. Look how saturated the pink and blue is. Thought this looked really good. Got this on Amazon for like 19 bucks or something. And I had to grab it. You know, I'm trying to, you know, rack up on the rays. We have enough rays, but I can never, I don't know. They're just so poseable and they feel good in hand. And when they look this damn good, you got to grab another one. But we did grab the uh, the top picks, the new top picks Rey Mysterio figure right here. And then another pickup that we had is the ringside exclusive Jericho Housen figure. Now, I know a lot of people were not pumped to grab this. I know a lot of people were just not enthralled with this figure. And you can let me know what you think of it. I think it's, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of a, it's kind of a shield Kurt Angle moment, you know? I think it's, I don't know if it's quite, I don't know if I hate it that much compared to that one. That ringside exclusive shield Kurt Angle is probably one of my least favorite Mattels of all time. This figure is not on that level, but if you guys want to see a review of this, let me know down in the comment section below. I am so behind on different reviews, like I stated before. Jericho Housen, I need to review. The Ring of Honor Young Bucks, the Ring of Honor Claudio, the Ring of Honor Kenny Omega. Haven't reviewed any of those. We did get the Brian Danielson in there. We did get the Dan Housen, but I do need to review the rest of those. But I think that is pretty much going to wrap up our toy hunt for today. It was a pretty fun one. Pretty fun one, even though we did not find a too, a too, too much. We did still find WWE Elite Series 109, which I think is a pretty good W right there, man. Got San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Muhammad Ali back here. I don't know. Like You never know what's going to be back here. We got the most random assortment of figures back here. Got some new tag titles. You know, we're, we're cooking it up. Dan Turnquist, the man with the tag titles there. But anyways, man, I think that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video. But I'd like to know what you guys think of the toy hunt down in the comment section below, man. Let me know what you would have grabbed, what you wouldn't have grabbed. Let me know all those things down in the comment section below. Huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate all those fellas so very much. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. You guys are absolutely incredible. That is pretty much going to wrap up the video, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you later.